think back to the time when you were a kid. What was the most joyful, carefree, and happy space? For me, it was my childhood home. I understand it now, but when I was a kid, I couldn't care less. I was born in a family of a sea captain. My father operated one of the biggest sales boats in the world, inviting my mom and me to join, whatever he could. So my first journey was when I was only two. And since then, every vacation was spent abroad. Everything was falling around. Everything was turning around traveling. I had nothing that I... My every vacation was spent abroad. And since then, I was captivated by traveling. And actually, I had never seen an attachment to home. Nothing identified me there, and nothing was ever calling me back. But funny enough, our homes are the ones that we are attached to the most. We learn everything from there. We open ourselves up. We learn how to deepen our relationships with others. Our childhood homes are the ones that we take for granted, but still are loved and cared for the most. When the time comes, each and every person has to set off on a journey to find their own homes. For someone, it can be just around the corner, but others have to search the whole globe to find one. Five years ago, in 2015, I had a one-way plane ticket to Canada. I was filled with excitement. I ran up the ramp, buckled up in my seat, and started a friendly chat with the man beside me. During our conversation, he asked me, so, um, where's your home once again? Where is home? Such a simple question, isn't it? But deep down, I was terrified that now I had nothing to answer. I was born in Crimea, Ukraine. And I knew exactly that at the time I was flying above the ocean, my family was moving out of the peninsula because of the difficult situation there. No longer I had a home that I remembered. My plane landed in Vancouver, a beautiful city on the west coast of Canada hugged by the mountains and lies beneath the endless ocean. But my first half a year there were honestly quite tough. The feeling of emptiness that never seemed to exist overwhelmed me. It was like a grief reaction, similar to having lost the loved one. But what I was grieving was the loss of home. You have to leave home, to understand it. I tried to feel that hole inside me with different events, people, some locations, going out to parties and having random elective courses and new hobbies, but nothing seemed to help. The feeling haunted me every single time I was left on my own. Since then, I was in a mission to find what does actually home mean to me. Is it a pure attachment to place? We all know the phrase, your home is where your heart is. And it's a beautiful one. But what does it actually mean? It doesn't mention anything about particular location or spot. 
And why is that? It turns out it goes down to the roots of the word home. From an old English, it means the space where the souls gather. So at its very core, it's not just about where your heart is, but also the hearts of others you love and trust. This year, I finally understood what does the home mean. It didn't matter where in the lockdown I was, as long as it was a safe space and I had a connection to my loved ones. That's where my home was. Home is such a universal concept, but we all define it differently. Where do you feel the most at home? Are you happy with your secret space? If you are the lucky one and you have it, cherish it as it will be your safe harbor wherever you go. And if you're still on the way to find it or you lost one, don't worry, you'll get there. It just takes time. For me, it took 15 moves four countries, and one pandemic to realize. Home is where your heart is understood. Thank you.